Hi guys, today I just want to introduce you to a palette I just received. I'm super excited about it. This is called the Hollywood Palette by Iconic Beauty. I got sent this for free from Juno & Co. You guys know I love Juno & Co. They're cruelty free and really, really, really affordable. I recently did a makeup challenge with them trying their sponge to do my entire face. So you can check that out down below if you haven't watched it already. This is what the palette looks like. The packaging feels nice. It's really sturdy. Like it's heavier than I thought it would be. And it is how many shades are in here? 18, which is a pretty big size palette. It has a nice big mirror there and then these are the shades so pretty not my normal thing to be completely honest like they're a little bit out there for me but they're gorgeous so I can do a close-up and you guys will see that and I'll show you the swatches the first swatch is gonna be the whole top row and then three from the middle and then the second swatch is the next three from the middle and the bottom I think they're gorgeous I think that the shimmers are so soft and I dip my fingers in the shimmers they feel like butter. Like if your finger almost dips into them, there's not that much fallout. The mattes on the other hand are a bit powdery and not, they're not even fully matte. Like they look matte, like when I show you this, you can see the top row and these three look the most shimmery and then everything else is kind of matte-ish, but it's matte-ish. Most of these shades, except for Roosevelt, which is this one down here, have a touch of shimmer, which is probably my favorite matte shade, to be honest. This one felt the creamiest out of all the mattes and it's also probably a shade I would use as my crease shade, so that's really great. For a palette that's so affordable, it's just really, really nice quality. Wouldn't expect these to be so nice. I feel like it might be a dupe for something. I'm not quite sure what it's a dupe for, but I feel like it looks very familiar to me. Juno & Co has a lot of stuff that's like a fraction of the price of the high end, and it's all cruelty free and really high quality. Like you can see the other two videos I did with the two palettes I got from them. I loved everything, like everything was really really nice. And this one really excited me because it, it's a great way to kind of experiment with shades you normally wouldn't go for. Like I normally wouldn't buy a palette with these kinds of shades because it kind of scares me a little. Like I don't know for 100% sure that I'm going to use this all the time. So being able to spend under $20 on it is a lot nicer than you know spending $50, $60 on like Urban Decay or whatever. So I recommend checking out my link for Juno & Co. will be below. Yes, it's an affiliate link. I'm not sponsored to make this video. I wasn't even asked to make this video. I just wanted to because this really excited me. And if you want to use my link, go for it. If not, you can just Google Juno & Co. And you know, you don't have to use my link. It would be nice if you did. And I like it. I really like this palette. I'm going to play with it more. I'm not putting makeup on today. Just one of those days. But I am going to do a little tutorial show you guys what shades I use and how I make, make a look. Maybe it'll be a little bit different from my everyday look. Yeah. So it's a new day and I thought, let's try out the palette today. I wanted to show you guys a look and see how they kind of perform on the eye. I'm gonna start with a crease shade. I think I'm gonna take, I was gonna take Highland, which is this peachy one, but I'm gonna take this one, which is called the Roosevelt. It's like a camel color. Definitely tap off the excess. I don't wanna like overdo the crease shade. The one thing in this palette that is missing, in my opinion, is just a matte cream because a lot of the time I take a matte cream all over the lid up to the brow just to kind of create a base and set the eyeshadow primer so this does not have that. I think I'm going to go in with a pencil brush actually and I'm going to do this thing that I do sometimes. It's kind of weird. Warm on the lid and then cool underneath. So now I'm going to take Runyon Cannon which is this like, gray color underneath the lash line. This could look so bad. I feel like sometimes mixing warm and cool shades really makes my blue eyes stand out. I like that so far, so now this would be like an everyday look for me. I would just put a little on the lash line and be good to go. <laughs> I want to kind of go for this shade, but it's not going to go with the look. It's like a really antique deep bronze. Oh, I love it. I could do a warmer shade like the sunset shade. I think I'm going to do Hollywood sign, which is this shade. It's kind of like a silvery gold, so I feel like it will mix with this look of warm and cool. So I'm going to just take my finger with that. I feel like that's the easiest way to make sure you don't have any fallout. Look at that. That's insane. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh my god. That's intense, but I do feel like there's definitely fallout from that. I should have used like a glitter glue. I don't have a glitter glue. What am I talking about? I want to deepen up the crease in the outer corner a little. So instead of Roosevelt, I want to take Dolby, which is this like warmish brown shade. I messed that up. Let me take my finger and try to calm it down a little. That's what I would use a matte cream shade for when I overdid it like that. 
a matte cream will just like tone it down a lot. I should use one of these bright pinks and really freaked you guys out. <laughs> you definitely want to use your finger or maybe like a wet brush for the glittery shades in this palette because you're, there's definitely like there's a lot falling underneath my eyes with this glitter shade. I'm also going to take the shade Paramount, which is this one. I mentioned that that one was like the most not great in my opinion, but I'm gonna take my pinky with that actually. Just a little bow under the brow. That was more intense than I expected. I don't usually take a shimmer shade on my brow bone. I also, I'm gonna go in with this little tiny brush with that shade and take that in there. I'm gonna go back in with Running K in that gray color, intensify down here more. Kind of like, almost like a smudgy wing. <laughs> I'm gonna go on top of the shade I already did to Hollywood sign and go in with Pentages. Pented? Pent? Pentages? This shade right here. It's a bit more gold and see if I can make that look even more like intense. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That one's a bit smoother. I feel like I should have done that one from the beginning. Like a lot less powder kicks up when I do that. But I'm gonna take that angled brush with black. It's the Hollywood Forever shade and just go on the upper lash line. A lot more pigmented than it looks in the thing on the here i think because the palette is black that black shade looks more gray but it's really not i did a little too much on the side you can see where i messed up i should have done all the crease and ended with the shimmer because the shimmer is just like all over the place not not loving this look that i just did <laughs> i'm gonna do some mascara and then um i'll pop right back in here i just want to show you guys what the look what, it look, what this palette might look like. Um, I do feel like it would be really suited for a lot of skin tones. I mean, I love the shades, they're gorgeous, and like swatching them and like taking photos of the palette is like, I love it. But for actually wearing on a day to day basis, it's not like, you know, I'm more of like a plain, matte, boring kind of person. It's really pretty, like I like it how it looks, and I guess I'll wear it for the rest of the day, even though it's a bit, it's a bit much for me. I'm gonna do close up so you guys can see what the look looks like up close. <laughs> So, I haven't filled that part yet, so I hope you liked it. I hope the look came out good. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to see more from me, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.